So you want to take an animation from Daz and get it into Blender. All right, let's get into that. Hi guys, Ron with Blue Cement Studio back with another video. In my previous video uh, about exporting from Daz to Blender, I got a lot of questions on how to get animations into uh, Blender. And let's say we want to get this animation into uh, Blender. So right now I have this uh, Kung Fu animation right here. Now, generally to get figures and items into Blender, you could use the uh, Diffeomorphic plugin uh, like I had shown in the previous video. But animations uh, don't work out of the Diffeomorphic plugin. So you have to use something out of Daz to get them into Blender. Now, recently the... Um, the Daz to Blender bridge is operational again, and which is great. So this is what we're going to use today to get this animation out of Daz into Blender. So currently I am using uh, 4.21. 4 so you want to get the latest version of Daz, whatever you have on your side, and uh, get that installed. And then we're going to go over to the uh, Daz install manager. So let's go ahead and go there. So this is where you're going to go to get the install manager. Now, Daz does have another software or another app called uh, Daz Central. But what I find is that it's pretty unreliable and uh, I feel that the install manager is the better option. So I'll go and put this link in the uh, description. You can go here and uh, download the install manager. Once you've got that installed, you should get a screen that kind of looks like this. and. Um, you might not have all these products, but what you're looking for under products, you should have where it says Daz to Blender. This is the Daz to Blender bridge. This is exactly what you want. And it looks like the version that I'm using here is recent date of 4-8-2022. So, you know, obviously you wanna make sure that you have the most current version, and then you wanna have the most current version of Daz. So once you get that going, you're gonna click on download here and it's gonna go ahead and download it fairly quickly. And then you wanna go over to installed and you can see right here, Daz to Blender, it's been installed because your option right now is to uninstall. So let's go ahead and launch Daz and make sure that we got it installed. Okay, back in Daz. Uh, what you wanna look for after you've installed the Daz to Blender bridge, go over to file Go down to send to, you can ignore this other stuff right here. Go down to send to, and then go to Daz to Blender down at the bottom here. And then you should see this window pop up. That way you know you have the most current version of the bridge, which is 2022. And now we'll go ahead and create a character, add an animation, and then we'll export it to Blender. Okay, so we can go over to figures on the left here and under smart content pane and we're going to go ahead and select the genesis 8.1 basic mail so we'll put that in the scene once you've got them in the scene we're going to go ahead and add some clothing so we'll do some shorts here and we'll do a shirt and you'll notice on the shirt uh, you're getting some poke through with the shorts easy to fix just take your mouse and hover over the shirt right click select basic wear t-shirt Come over to this pane over here under parameters where it says actor, hit that drop down, click on adjustments, and up at the top where it says expand all, we're just going to basically make that t-shirt a little bit bigger. And go ahead and check the back to make sure it's covering um, the back side of him. And that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and change our tab at the top left to pose and animate. Once you've done that, you should see a timeline at the bottom here. And if I click on timeline, you'll see the overall frame count here in the timeline. And then what we're interested in here is this tab called Animate Light. Now, if you don't see that, you want to go up to Window, Pane, and Tabs, and then go over to Animate Light. I think there is a pro version for Animate. I'm not sure, but this is the light version that does come with Daz Studio. Now at the bottom here, you should see some blue boxes. These are preview animations. So when we hover over one of these items, it'll give us a preview of that animation. And over here on the left, you'll see where it says fighting. 
these are the different kind of moves that they have for animes. So you can see there's some dancing, there's some up and downs, there's some walk cycles, gesturing, etc. But we're interested in the fighting pose. So if we go down to the bottom here again and we click, we hover over this, you can see that some of them are kind of funky and then others seem to be um, pretty accurate. Like I like this kicking pose here. Other poses uh, might not work or other animations. You can see that this one is all wonky and it's probably because it was made for an older figure, um, but I'm not sure, but that's probably the case. So what we wanna do is that we wanna go over here to, I like this kick here. This one's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna double click and it'll put it right in the timeline for anime. And if you wanna preview this, probably best if I go up here and we change this from NVIDIA iRay to Smooth Shaded. And then we can go in and click the play button here and we can see that we have a nice smooth animation. So let's say we want this animation in Blender. So we're gonna go ahead and export this to Blender using the Daz to Blender bridge that we downloaded earlier. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so one more item before we export this to uh, Blender. You need to go into this area down at the bottom here and you need to right click in this window and you need to click on Bake to Studio Keyframes, all right? Make sure you have the Genesis 8.1 mail selected in the scene panel over here and just click on yes. And this will take a second and it's gonna go ahead and bake your animation uh, data into the file. And then once that's done, you're gonna go over here to uh, file in the top left, send to DAS to Blender. You wanna make sure that you have your 8.1 mail asset here. Now, if you don't, you're gonna click cancel and then you're gonna make sure that you have it selected over here in the scene panel. All right, we'll go back here, DAS to Blender. And then under asset type, you wanna make sure you have animation. Now, if you don't have the Blender plugin installed already, you're gonna install it right here. And you can go ahead and select your Blender version that you have. I have 3.3. I already have the, uh, um, the uh, plugin installed. But if you don't have it installed, this is where you're going to install it. And then once we get into Blender, I'll show you how to turn it on. Okay, you shouldn't have to make any more, um, you know, you shouldn't have to select anything else. Go ahead and hit accept. It will go ahead and build the animation for you. All right, once that's done, I'll go ahead and see you in Blender. Okay, so we're in Blender now and you can see I'm using uh, Blender 3.3. Um, this is one of the most recent versions. So just get the most recent version if you don't have it already. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go to edit and go down to preferences and under add-ons, you should see, if you don't see, um, you should type in DAS over here and you should see the DAS to Blender bridge right there. The one above it is the Diffeomorphic plugin and so we're not using that today. So I went ahead and deselected that, but all you got to do with the DAS to Blender plugin is go ahead and turn it on by selecting this little box here and then go down to the hamburger menu and hit save preferences. And so every time you start a blender, this uh, plugin will go ahead and launch. So hit the X to get out of that. And then we're just gonna hit the end on the keyboard here and we're gonna go down to DAS to blender. Once we've done that, we're gonna click on import new Genesis figure. Now, actually before we do that, we don't want it to import into this collection here. So we're gonna click on scene collection so that way it has its own collection below uh, lights. And we're just gonna click on import new Genesis figure. Now this might take a little bit. There's a lot of uh, animation data in there. Um, so go ahead and just give it a second. Now we are using animate inside Daz, but you can do hand animations. There are plenty of YouTube videos on how to animate from one pose to the other. Well, what I find mostly with that technique is you get a lot of sliding. And if you play around with it, you'll see what I mean. And sliding can be sometimes difficult to correct. So the animate animations are pretty good. And on Daz, uh, on the Daz website, there's plenty of them to choose from. And uh, go ahead and download those if you want. Okay, so we went ahead and imported the figure here. So let's go ahead and zoom in a bit and see what we got going on. And I'm just gonna drag this 
down here and let's go ahead and change this over to timeline and you can see here's our animation and it looks pretty dang good and uh, so yeah that's pretty much how that animation works let's go ahead and move around just slightly here I'm gonna turn off the overlay and let's go ahead and see what it looks like rendered okay so you can see there's a lot of light in the scene and what these DAS files do is they'll bring in um, the Sun from the DAS scene if we haven't deleted it so uh, if you expand this uh, collection called DAS root and then go down to where it says DAS pub you can uh, go ahead and just delete this collection is fine so I'm just gonna go up here and delete hierarchy and then that way we get our the lights the way we intended so that's basically how you get a character from Daz using the Daz to Blender bridge that's now fixed. And um, that way you can export an animation from Daz and get it into Blender. And what I've used here is I've used the animate uh, feature inside Daz Studio. And again, there's lots of animations available on Daz. Go check them out. Also, if you feel like heading over to my Instagram page at Lucid Man Studio, you can check out all the images that I've done in the past and go ahead and give me a like or follow me. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.